Hey, what's up? It's Yummy. The last few days I spent on creating this hideout that I'm standing in right now here. I was inspired by, by a dragon then. I wanted to, to have something fiery, something with huge skelet, skeletal bones, like, like dragon bones. And of course, a lot of gold because, like, every good dragon's nest has a lot of gold and a lot of lava. So, uh, I I just for mine here I picked the sanguine hideout, uh, but that just happens to be because I stumbled upon it in a map a few days ago. Uh, this can basically work in all dark environments, I guess. And thanks to my good friend Alex, uh, wh who you can hear also on, on my stream regularly, uh, who told me how to how to build lava, because this looks really fancy, right? So everything that's down there, all the all the lava that that's there, is essentially just a visual fake. And I will tell you how to do this. And also with a few like extra tips and tricks, how to, how to create like like those glowing pillars that you can you can see in the background here. And I will show you guys. Okay. So basically, what we really need for the whole lava thing to work is uh, decoration. Sold by Zana. The thing we need is a summoning circle. That's like, I, I searched a very long time for something that lies on the ground and glows. This is not hard to, this, this is not easy to find, really. It's basically the only decoration I know that can do that. And it's also just one very special uh, variance of this like you have a lot of those that you could possibly also use also for the effects <laughs> maybe not that one <clears throat> like if you <laughs> put many of those <laughs> uh people with epilepsy cannot visit your hideout um so what we need is like the variance five of the summoning circle as you can see those have like glowing edges on the side and this will be our lava so we're gonna place more of those maybe creating some 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 shapes here so that we can like really we really have some floating lava which is going somewhere We can also leave some space here. So what I'm trying to do right now is just to have like uh, one steady flow of lava here in the middle, and all those others, uh, you will, yeah, you will occlude them later on. So doesn't matter too much, really. But you can just set some accents with with this. So uh, our <laughs> she's already our stair, so we need. Put that over here. Maybe move that a little bit. Rotate. Yeah, that, that's fine, I guess. You can also have some branches here, like where the lava takes two directions. The important thing is that you have dark underground, basically. Because if you don't, then the technique we're going to use now will not work. So what we now need is our stones. Stones, rubble, whatever. You can you can use a variety of those. Mm. I never tried Aria of Rubble, but I guess this is just too, yeah, too light, probably. 
Although you can still use it for like the outlines. Like this, uh, what I used in my hideout was a lot of uh, stalactites. They fit quite nicely to the whole lava setting. And also you can use our lava fountains later on to just make it look more natural, you know. So let's see. We have some uh, some obstacles now where and the lava flows kind of in the middle of it. So let's place a lot more of those boulders somewhere just, just to hide that there's there's actually wood and tracks and stuff that we don't want to show. Whoop. <laughs> Trapped myself. That happens all the time. So, okay, now we have some stones here. Honor, go beast yourself. here so for example those that I use like you can use basically every natural object or or then stalagmite or or then pillar or stuff like that or rubble to make this lava effect the things that I used uh, is a Nico Shattered stone pieces. Oh, that's a long. Let's see. So, if you go to Nico and just buy decorations, you will. Also, Nico, you get for 4,400 the 10 large stalagmites. <laughs> and also what I used instead of rubble like I saw this and another guy building this um, with with uh, crypt crypt rubble I don't I, I don't know where to buy this and how, how much it does it cost because I use stone shattered pieces <laughs> it's not it's actually not shattered stone pieces, but stone shattered pieces. Like, I'm not native, but that sounds wrong. Okay. So when you when you got your, your stone shit together, you can just place it here. I would just scatter those on the lava. And to have a more lava-y effect, I would also use the darkest variant of this of this decoration here. So that's why you use um, the Crypt Rubble and the Aureaf Rubble, because the Aureaf Rubble is too light. And you can basically stack as much as you want of those stone things here. And the more stone you have, the less magma you have. You can also build a path. But the really important thing is that you partially, partially occlude one of some of those lava rivers here, and this will automatically give you an impression that this is like floating lava, especially if you're not looking too closely. <laughs> like this is the best we can get, I guess. I I have no idea how to make better lava than this. And I really tried. Um, one thing which is also like super important is the lighting. I would say. Because right now it doesn't look very natural. Like the, the, the ground is glowing but the rocks aren't. Because this is actually not a light source. The summoning circle. So what I do usually is search for a light source like let's say standing lamp 
and I just place it inside of the model. So this way, you, you can have like neat little lighting effects without actually the lamp showing or the fire showing or some smoke because the standing lamp just doesn't have effects. But it always looks more natural because there's some light, some diffuse of light that this, uh, this, these, those rocks reflect. So after placing another ton of those stones everywhere, you can you can start to play with the effects. Here's also it's that's a little bad. The summoning circle is not right here. As you can see, this will get quite quite crowded. And it will be a mess to fix something afterwards. So uh, get your get your summoning circles right. <laughs> you, you can actually move them, of course, but it it's really not fun. So okay, I will leave it at that for now. Like this is not super super duper. Real. Beautiful, but I don't care. I just want to show you guys how to how to create those effects that this really looks like some some game designer or build it or what. Um, so um, what's a little bit expensive about this are the lava fountains. Like they're 50, 55k each, and this is this is not achievable if you're not playing like for eternity. So maybe. Maybe you can just buy one of it, or you leave it out completely. It just gives the whole thing like an origin, like where does the lava come from? <clears throat> you can put them basically everywhere. Uh, I I prefer to kind of put them also into into those stalagmites because then you can play around a little bit and let the the lava flow over over some of those stones maybe. We all learned that occlusion is a very good thing in designing 3D spaces. So let's keep it like that. There's some lava coming out somewhere. We don't know how, how and where and why, but it's there. Let's just go there. Okay, so we have now some lava. The next thing, the next expansive thing is the lava glow effect. It's also from Einhar. And this is really, really what makes it look like it's hot over there. Because as you can see, like it, this, this flurry air, air that's here and like the orange glow that you have on top of it and the sparks rising. This is like a perfect effect for, for this whole lava thing. I will just place it somewhere where a lava fountain is. Also, like, where, where the fun lava fountains uh, meet the ground, you should have some summoning circle effects, like like over here. We, we can see the lava fountain spitting the lava here. So the lava has to has to actually go somewhere. So if you're doing like that, you also have a steady lava fountain here. Let's do Damn. And it flows here around that rock. Occlude especially like the stitching mark between those two. Like you can see, it's somewhat, it's kind of weird if you occlude that somehow. A little bit, 
looks way better. And now we have like this lava flow over here. We still need some pieces to cover up everything that the user can see. <laughs> the, the user. Uh. Oh, really don't. Let's put more stones, more stones and stalactites. All the stones. There are still some other decorations that I can recommend for something like this, like the fiery hideout. It's especially it's some effects. We also we already use the lava glow, um, but there are two other fiery effects that I deem worth placing. And this is uh, for once the raging fire. I couldn't find uh, where where to buy it, but some of the vendors they're 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 selling raging fire. And the other one, like you can see, that it's a little just a little bit, like more fiery, with different variations on how much fire you get, and how big it is. Maybe this this will be, <laughs> maybe a little bit too much, but it's still fitting. And the other thing that I like, depending on where you build this, is the fire gale. Let's just hide all of those things. The fire gale uh, just creates a, a storm or a wind effect um, with some fire in it. So if, if you're on a, maybe not here, because this looks like, pretty much looks like inside and you don't really know where the wind comes from. So I wouldn't personally use the fire gale in this hideout situation. But for some, like if you're doing that on the coast maybe or something, this, this could be very beautiful. Okay, let's head back to my hideout. My real hideout. Where is it? Where's Helena? Hello. Okay, and this is how this can be used, or how this can look afterwards. Um, I, I'm pretty proud of it. I like it very much. There's still some some spots in here which are not like good or perfect, but I really like it, especially if you have some height, because this will the dark spots will even get darker down there, and this makes the the lava really glow. So yeah. Thanks for watching and enjoy building your hideout.